guys, Karen Girl Friday here. I'm coming to you from the beautiful mountains in North Carolina. I'm attending the Blue Ridge Mountain Christian Riders Conference this week and I wanted to share with you in a video blog post some things the Lord's been showing me the last few weeks and some great awesome lessons he's taught me while here at the conference. One of our first keynote speakers here at the conference was an author by the name of Stephen James. And one thing that Stephen said that I love is celebrate your place in the story. And that's what I would like to tell you all today too. Celebrate your place in the story, God's story for you. Have you stopped being amazed at being alive? Have you stopped being amazed at God's glory and favor in your journey here on this earth? One of my favorite workshops here at the conference was by Michelle Cox about writing devotional guides and books and one thing she said I love God didn't call me to be successful but to be faithful this can apply to whatever your calling is in life whatever your vocation is in life your ministry your walk with the Lord are you faithful are you remaining to faithful to the one that all the glory belongs to another keynote speaker we had here was Jim Watkins and I love this from Jim, he says, be intentional about not being normal. And you might say, not being normal, because 1 Peter 2, 9 calls God's children a peculiar people. We are creative creations of the Creator, Jim says. We're allowed to be unique and different, and let's be intentional about it. Eva Marie Everson was a keynote speaker as well, and she brought us stories from Nehemiah and rebuilding the wall of Jerusalem. And in Nehemiah 3, came to a powerful scripture that says that God of heaven will give us success. So whatever your journey, if you're also a writer, or if you're a mom, or you're a wife, or a dad, or a father, um, a husband, children, whatever your job is, your place in ministry, remember, God gives us success as long as we are faithful and remain faithful to Him. Thanks for watching and listening this week. I also want to end by giving a shout out to all my fellow writers and authors that have been inspirational in attending the conference that I got to meet in person and just continue on the journey being faithful to the Lord who is our inspiration for words that we put on the page. And a big shout out and thanks to everyone back home that's been praying for me and encouraging me on this writing journey. Y'all are the best.